All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel, to the Truck Report Geeks. This is the segment where I like to talk about pickup trucks. So um, thank you for tuning in today. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It will really help the channel uh, greatly. So big news out of the gate today on May the 4th, uh, 2023 from Toyota. They've been dropping some information here on their Instagram page, uh, you know, taking a look at the new Toyota Tacoma and also a sneak peek as well with the Trail Hunter. So um, they've been dropping quite a bit of news here um, when it's going to be debuted for the next Tacoma. Uh, the next generation Tacoma pickup is on the cusp of its debut and it means it's teaser time, folks. Toyota is rolling out a steady drip of preview images of the new midsize truck and you will see some of those here. Uh, with this video and we've gathered them all here so in order the newest to the oldest to you know your persona so when will it debut so what Toyota is saying is what we know so far here is the 2024 Toyota Tacoma will be unveiled officially on May the 19th so uh, for those of you folks who love the Toyota Tacoma <clears throat> you're going to want to be sticking around on May 19th to to see what's going to be announced here and the debut for sure. What might be the final role of teasers will also will drop a set of back black on color backdrop pop art rendering all of the sides of the truck here, as you will see from what we can tell here. So the teasers reveal there will be continue to be long and short bed Tacomas. So awesome. So a few folks who want a, a long bed or a short bed, the option is going to be there for you and possibly both four-door crew cab models as well. So, you know, they're gonna have a, as you can see in the videos, you're gonna have a white, green, and red above. So, an extended cab variance in gray. Interesting. So, the olive background irritation is, we suspect, the new Trail Hunter model. More on that though, uh, once I get into the video a little more. Uh, so what with its wild sport bar over the long bed and apparent roof rack We'll find out for sure in a few days though. So I can't wait till May the 19th comes So let's go over some of the details that they're already sharing on May 2nd uh, You know, they had some good news here from you know uh, The 2024 Tacona will come with a manual transmission that was announced on May 2nd. So for those of you folks who still like the manual transmission, yeah, the option is there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Toyota will still hasn't specified much about the rest of the new pickups, mechanicals, or, or the automaker has been teasing that it will be able to offer a manual transmission experience with its electrics and hybrids. So yeah, who knows there. Such electrified manual transmission vehicles have been done in the past, but remember the back in the Honda CRV came with a six speed and three pedals as a hybrid and Dito the Civic hybrid and an original insight. So it's entirely possible that the iForce Max hybrid version of the Tacoma might come with it. So interesting, but we can't say that for sure until Toyota says that's true. All right. So we're just going to leave that up in the air for now. So uh, the next gen Tacoma is only offered with a manual only gas uh, on gas non hybrid variant so far, and such versions exist. Uh, regardless, the 2024 Tacoma will be one of the few vehicles you can still get with a manual when it launches in 2024. Yeah, because a lot of a lot of the manufacturers are <clears throat> are getting away from that that shifter on the floor for a manual. So I mean it's you know, Tacoma is still going to have that for 2024. So that you've, so for you folks that like still to do the, you know, the manual transmission, <clears throat> it's going to be there for you. <clears throat> this was announced on April 25th. Uh, the next update shows that JBL will prove an interesting speaker, will provide an interesting speaker, sorry, for the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. The JBL has been an audio provider to Toyota since 1996. So this announcement is no surprise, but this speaker is more than just something hard 
mounted to the vehicle. It's called the Flex, as you can see with the with the photo here. Uh, it's removable portable speaker that you can take anywhere. It's also able to be mounted just in front of the t tall infotainment screen and near the center of the windshield. So interesting. Zooming in on the image where the flex speaker is sitting on the tailgate, you will see that in the video here. It is Bluetooth enabled and will have a Toyota logo on the bottom of it. Pretty interesting. Um, as you can see from the, t you know, with the, the JBL uh, on the back of the tailgate, um, it's, it has a, it's a real tough plastic interior shell. Currently used in today's truck will remain, they say is what they're saying. For some potential owners, this has been another grievance that they would like to see go away, <clears throat> but who knows, right? Just as we see the disc brakes are replacing the outdated drum brakes on the rear axle, for everyone else, it's more of a meh and likely will affect the sales of the 2024 Toyota Coma in the long run. So yeah, there's they're still uh, they're gonna replace the the uh, the, the drum with uh, disc brakes, of course. So April 11th, they announced, um, you know, from what they were saying, uh, in a pair of photos that the, that Toyota released this week. Uh, of that April 11th week, we can clearly make out similar upgrades and our sleuthing is made easier by Toyota's own press release stating, Overlands rejoice, Overlanders rejoice, introducing the all new 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter, followed by the statement, developed from the ground up for those seeking sustained adventures, Tacoma Trail Hunter will build upon Toyota's legendary off-road and overlanding credibility with purpose-built engineering and robust components. Uh, we mentioned in the story uh, what they were saying here, the Trail Hunter prototypes that uh, the rear bumper and front bumper added rear tire clearances based on these images uh, you'll see in, in the video here. It seems we were correct in that um, uh, when they were saying it did come true there. So we uh, didn't know at the time, but do now, is that the rear bumper was made by ARB, which also features a bright red ARB tow hook and a t Trail Hunter T badge. So there still seems to be some sort of mystery part of, the, of this announcement as well as all around that tow hook is blocked off by Toyota's, you know, editors, of course. What they didn't block was the image that confirms that the rear suspension is not going to be a leaf spring, as we see firm evidence that a panhard bar is present on the Tacoma. <clears throat> well, at least on the Trail Hunter version of the Tacoma, is what we're looking at here. We haven't heard with 100% certainly that all trims of the Toyota's uh, mid-size pickup will only come with a coil spring rear suspension like the new Tundra, or if this setup is limited to more off-roady trim levels like the TRD and the Trail Hunter models. So just going to have to wait and see. ARB guide gear aside, um, Toyota also shows us the updated 2024 Toyota's uh, Tacoma's headlight, uh, no huge surprise with the shape and look of the of the peeper, but the photo reveals here that the Trail Hunter will wear the badging on its headlight lens. So yeah, so you're going to see the Trail Hunter badging there in the headlight lens. It appears as a cutout in the trim around the trim indicator and looks to be a black lit too as well. This same photo also shows uh, you will see in the video how much larger the the lower grille opening below the headlight has grown and while a bit more tundra it in its overall execution that tacoma still remains its own character in its grill and headlight design we also see a small example of the larger fender flare that's also covering a goodyear territory mud terrain both of which were revealed by the Trail Hunter test uh, mule spy shots when they were testing it. On April 4th, uh, Toyota Tacoma 
you know, also latest teaser then is quite a doozy. It confirms the looks of the new Tacoma's tailgate with TRD Pro stamped into it. While a spoiler is present, fortunately it looks like it's integrated into the design of the Tacoma's body lines, which makes it a was the on the third generation uh, of that truck of the Tundra. Also visible, a very interesting I Force Max badge, which would indicate Tacoma and the segment first hybrid powertrain. The I Force Max branding was introduced on the hybrid side full size Tundra and confirms that an electrified Tacoma is coming in the next generation. Whether it is offered across the entire lineup or restricted to pricier mods, uh, models, <clears throat> sorry, such as the TRD Pro, remains to be seen. Back in March 28th, um, you know, Tacoma, uh, they were saying here, is more that meets the eye here um, with that teaser when, when, they were, when they announced this one. In this wide image Instagram post, uh, you will see here on the photo, the first picture appears to simply show the current generation Tacoma. Then moving to the second image reveals some details that seem incongruous at first. Uh, the license plate reads 040423. Interesting. Could this be the next generation Tacoma's reveal date? Mm, right? And parked next to the building in the background is a blurred out silver truck. So, yeah. Uh, perhaps it's the new Tacoma, right? And and lastly, uh, you will see at the top of the truck here, the sign on the building is a dead giveaway. If you look at the sign, uh, uh, that Toyota is poking fun at itself and that the leak of the new truck through the Brazilian patent images, right? So, and perhaps indicating that they're indeed a preview of what we'll see in is apparently a few short days, so... New shape revealed uh, when they revealed it at night, um, March 23rd. It only depicts a silhouette truck on rocky ground set against the night sky, but we're confident that this photo is our first official peak of the 2024 to Toyota Coma. This hotly anticipated truck is set for a dramatic redesign. And although it's this teaser shot from that, that date, March 23rd, doesn't reveal much, but that Dakota is getting a big injection of tender energy going forward. So, cool. What does it mean? The Tacoma appears to be getting some of the same uh, that it's in the bigger brother, which is the full-size Tundra, received during the 22 model year changeover. We also see that the rear of the cab gets a small spoiler, and the tailgate appears to get the same aerodynamic extension as the Tundra, to make the mid-sized Tacoma pickup slip through the air better, is what they're saying. So, awesome. We tried to adjust the image uh, on here, so... But Toyota seems to have plans for that trick, and no fussing and brightness or contrast change the pickup's shadowed visual. Still, the new styling cues are obvious, and line up with the Brazilian patent images we saw earlier this year, so... This is going to be very interesting. I can't wait to actually see this, this truck, um, you know, pretty soon here. So we're expecting the 2024 Tacoma to have an electrified 2.4 liter turbocharged I-4, just like the 2023 Lexus NX350 hybrid, but mounted in a longitudinal layout. The Tacoma is still a proper truck with a body on frame architecture and rear and four wheel drive options. So after all, we also expect Toyota will offer a full electric version, but that timeline for the, for the BEV uh, taco hasn't been confirmed by the brand yet. If it comes out at all, it will most likely be late 24 or early 25. So yeah. Um, I really like the Toyota Tacoma, personally. Um, you know, compared to some of the, you know, the mid-sized trucks that are out there today, you know, the, the Toyota Tacoma, it's got that, it's got that, you know, reliability and brand awareness. So, you know, it's it's been around for a long time. People know what they're getting. And with some of these newer, 
you know, mid-sized trucks like, you know, some of the stuff that GM's making and some of the stuff that Ford's making, you know, if you're looking for, you know, a bigger payload um, for the 2023s, if you're in our 2023 model years, you know, some of the other manufacturers are offering a bigger payload. Some of them are offering bigger cabs. So the reason why I'm talking about this is will Toyota, you know, step up to the plate here and offer, you know, just as much payload, just as big as cabs, you know, for people to sit in, you know, like a lot of, a lot of things here that I'm waiting to see what's going to happen here because, you know, if they can step up to the plate and meet all the expectations that all of the other manufacturers are doing for this year, and they can do this for the 2024 model, you know, it's going to be another big, huge sales again for the Tacoma, of course. Because again, you've got the brand awareness, you get the reliability of the truck. And if they can meet those other aspects that some of those other manufacturers are already doing this year, mm, should be an interesting year for the 2024 midsize truck segment again. So interesting. Well, thank you very much for putting up with me. If you held on this long, you know, um, this is it for this video. Be safe. Bye for now.